my channel. So for this week's video, I am sharing a DIY TV stand makeover. Now I got this TV stand where I get most of my stuff from Craigslist. Somebody was selling it for $20 and I just couldn't pass it up. Plus, I had a vision for all the beautifulness it could be. But without further ado, let me show you how I did it. So this is what the TV stand looked like before. Someone had just not taken very good care of it and there was nail polish kind of dumped all over it. Oh my gosh, you guys. Taking the top off of this, I thought it was just gonna be a couple screws, but it was an experience. Um, there were screws, there were staples. Um, there's these little, I don't know what they're called, but you, you twist them and it locks the, the screw in there. Oh, there was a lot to do, but anyway. That's where I'm at right now, and now I'm gonna clean it up and start painting. So I went ahead and I sanded it down to remove the nail polish bumps, just to make it flat. And to paint, I originally started off by making my DIY chalk paint and trying that out, but when I applied it on there, I got these really weird bubbles where the paint just didn't want to adhere to the surface. So what I ended up doing was I washed it down one more time all over the piece and tried it with my trusty rust-oleum chalked paint and that worked way better my guess is that there was some sort of film on the piece so it just took a few more washes to try to get that film or whatever was on the surface of it off of there next i took the glass out of the sliding doors and I didn't really like the trim piece that was kind of in the window pane-esque style. So I decided to just pop those off because they were just attached with an adhesive. So I gently just pried it off and took off the excess goop with some nail polish remover. Hey guys, so this is where I'm at so far. The, the whole base is painted and I am trying to do a wood top to it. And I got these one by sixes from Lowe's and I'm gonna cut them down to the length of the TV console. Forgot what it was for a second. And then the plan, unless something changes, is to take this one by two and trim it out like that because there's that weird piece right there and it's gonna look much nicer if I trim it out on the front and the sides. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting these boards down to the length I need and uh, screwing in some pocket holes so I can attach them to each other. Next, I started working on the outside trim edge and I ended up cutting angles, 45 degree angles on the sides just to join the corners. I didn't film actually attaching the two pieces because I do not have a nailer. So I had to do this by hand and it was very tedious and I just, I had to have my face in it. I'm gonna go ahead and attach all of these boards together and then attach this piece to the boards. So now I'm starting to drill pocket holes on the bottom of the top boards, just so I can attach them to the trim piece around the edges as well as to each other. Now I'm not gonna go in depth with how to drill pocket holes with Craig Jig this time. If you guys do want a dedicated video on that, let me know and I will show you step-by-step -step in a non-sped up version. Now to attach the boards, they were a little bit warped because they're not, you know, expensive quality wood. So what I ended up doing was I took my C-clamp and I clamped the edge down on two of the boards and drilled in one of the pocket screws to try to keep the two boards flush while attaching it. Then I did the same thing on the other side.
Once it was all together, I went ahead and I sanded everything so it would be smooth. Next, I took my wood putty, and this was actually really old wood putty, but it still ended up working, and I just filled in any areas that had gaps. Once the wood filler was dried, I went ahead and I sanded it down. Next, I took some Minwax stain in golden oak, and I stained the piece. Now to secure the top piece to the base of the cabinet, I ended up taking two scrap pieces of 1x2s and I drilled them on either side. I just put the glass back into these and put the little tabs. They're like picture frame tabs on the back that you just screw in. And I realized that when I put this on here, these came up a little bit too high. So I just took my little saw and took off maybe eighth of an inch or even less than that just to get it to sit more flush. And what I'm gonna do now, since this is not attached at all, oops, is I installed these boards for support. So I'm gonna take these really long screws and then I'm gonna put them up there and attach the top to the base and it's gonna be really stable. And the same thing over here. I'm not gonna film this because this is just an awkward angle, but I figured I might as well show you what I'm gonna do. But yeah, I'm gonna do that and then hopefully, magically, this is what it looks like all finished. enjoyed this video I hope it inspires you to make over a piece of furniture of your own now I wouldn't say that it's a hundred percent done I may adjust the stain on the top because I have not sealed it yet but I'm gonna look at it for a little bit live with it and see if um, I want to make any other changes to it but right now I'm super happy with how it turned out it looks gorgeous and yeah I'm really happy I hope you guys all have amazing weeks and I will see you guys in the next video as always Bye guys!